Chandrayaan's landing in nearly 20 hours, less than 24 hours to go for the moon landing. Chandrayaan on the verge of landing on the moon, the moon just 25 kilometers now below Vikram lander. PM, the Prime Minister to watch the landing live virtually from South Africa where he is at the BRICS summit, but all eyes therefore on ISRO, on Chandrayaan which is now just 25 kilometers away from moon. All expectations that that soft landing will take place tomorrow just after 6 p.m. Live coverage from ISRO will begin a little after 5. In fact, an entire country is on the edge as that final countdown begins to Chandrayaan's trees landing. The Vikram lander 25 kilometers away from the moon, 6.04 p.m. tomorrow. It will attempt to land on the lunar surface. ISRO saying the mission fully on track, all systems working perfectly. Just in case the conditions are less than ideal, a plan B is also ready. It's our top story. India's moon mission is hours away from a historic climax. Chandrayaan's Vikram lander is approaching the moon rendezvous. Saying hello to Chandrama, snapping breathtaking images from close vicinity, showing moon in all its glory. With details of the unexplored far site, complete with billionaire-old craters. Indian Space Agency asserted that the mission is fully on track. The system is undergoing regular checks to ensure a smooth touchdown. It is almost similar to what we uh, designed or developed for Chandrayaan-2 except for instead of orbiter now because orbiter is anyway working fine and it is still useful and it is giving a lot of in important data which will be utilized for Chandrayaan-3 landing also. Mm -hmm. So we decided that uh, we, we orbiter will be replaced by a propulsion module mm -hmm. uh, which, which duty is to take it to the orbit of moon surface. ISRO is not taking any chances especially after crash of the Russian moon mission. Keeping another landing site ready for Sunday touchdown if parameters aren't ideal on Wednesday. Former ISRO chief K. Sivan broke down the final maneuvers moments before the planned touchdown. First of all, uh, Luna uh, mission failure and uh, this one, they are not related. Luna actually that is have its own system, its own uh, the sensor, thrusters and it may have its own characteristics. But uh, we have our own system, our own thruster, our own sensors which it, it has been functioning very nicely and without any problem and uh, till now we are uh, uh, achieved what we want in a perfect way. And I'm sure that this will repeat on 23rd also. So we'll get a good uh, uh, landing. And uh, we are not getting uh, uh, disturbed by the Luna 25 failure. We are, they are not related. They are not a similar system. They are different system. Okay. So we are confident that we are, uh, we'll be able to achieve without any problem. A billion cheers, prayers and wishes are meanwhile pouring in as India roots for Chandrayaan 3. एक बहुत बड़ा इतिहास भारत के सभी विशेषज्ञों ने हमारे वैज्ञानिकों ने रचा है और प्रधानमंत्री जी के नेतृत्व में भारत नई ऊंचाइयां तो छू ही रहा था भारत का तिरंगा केवल देश के अंदर नहीं लेकिन विश्व पटल पर पर अब हमारी यही कोशिश है कि वो तिरंगा चांद पे भी गाड़ के रखा जाए स्पेशल पूजाज आर बीइंग हेल्ड इन टेंपल्स एंड नमाज इज बीइंग ऑफर्ड इन मॉस्क्स ऑल फॉर चंद्रयान सक्सेस द लैंडर इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू टच डाउन ऑन मून साउथ पोलर रीजन एट 6:04 पीएम ऑन वेडनेसडे वी विश इंडिया अ ग्रैंड सक्सेस इन कॉन्करिंग द मून with Akshita Nandagopal in Bengaluru and Milan Sharma in Ahmedabad, Bureau Report, India Today. 
Okay, let's go straight across to Dr. Surinder Pal, Distinguished Scientist, Associate Director, Program Director, Satellite Navigation Program at ISRO Satellite Center. Appreciate your joining us, Dr. Pal. Just give us a sense of what this means to the scientific community involved with ISRO. Less than 24 hours to go. What does this mean the next 24 hours for someone who's been connected with ISRO over the years? Is this a culmination of a lot of hard work over several years now? So, uh, Rajiv, I'll reply in two parts. One is, as a technologist, uh, I'm quite confident, and I also see that the whatsoever development have been taking place over the last 50 years, the fruits of there are coming up. As far as an Indian is concerned, uh, well, I, I'm quite confident that we will land, and uh, I, I'm quite elated that as an Indian, uh, I mean, uh, when we land there, we leave our imprints you know, Raj Chin, Ashok emblem will be there, the Isro emblem will be there, up when the rover rolls down, all the experiments work wonderfully well, and so, uh, the redundancies which have been built uh, in the, inside the software, as well as hardware, the simulations, which are extensive simulations have been done in the software and the hardware, mm -hmm. all those is, uh, mm -hmm. you know, they give me confidence that we will be successful. Some of the things have been over designed also, you know, like propulsion has been put more this time. The battery capacities have been increased both in the lander and the propulsion module, also on the rover. The rover has got 10 mph hour thing. And uh, for 14 days, it will work. I see from the chairman ISRO that we will definitely land even if uh, things are failing. You know, this time analysis has been done based on failure mode analysis, not on success based. Another thing is that uh, we have got four thrusters which are quite uh, powerful, 850 Newton meter, which uh, because thrust can be controlled, what we call this screwing. And even if two works, nothing else works, it will land. That's what the chairman is to say. And I'm quite confident about it. So what you're saying, what you're telling us is that we have learned from the mistakes that might have been made during Chandrayaan 2. And even if something may not work, God forbid, tomorrow, there is enough backup to ensure that there will be a soft landing on the moon. So history in the making. Yes, uh, I must say that not only simply backup, we have got almost triple backup. Now, let me tell you that uh, this is the only mission. Usually, no space technologist works for uh, more than three sigma. This has been, most of the systems have been tested to uh, six sigma. Six sigma means one mistake in one million. So that sort of accuracies are there. Things have been over-designed, uh, both power, propulsion, telemetry, where we increase the rates from 200 to 500 kilobit, and there are double redundancy in the communication link. Also, if, I mean, the sensors which are there, like you know, laser mm -hmm. Doppler velocity meter, the hazard avoidance, detection and avoidance, camera, then the uh, carbon, uh, uh, la altimeter, laser altimeter, off camera, front camera, mm -hmm. and gyros, which are calibrated just before landing. There's a navigation period of 10 seconds, where all the things will be calibrated in operate manner, absolute manner, and they will be calibrated with the star sensors. So the position accuracy is also will be there. Less, now also, this time, the area they have increased, you know, from two, 500 meters by 500 to 2.5 kilometers by mm -hmm. uh, 4 kilometers. When they land it, the algorithm takes care. Total system has been divided into grids of 24 meters by 24 meters. Out of the so many grids, 20 grids are selected. Out of 20 grids, 8 grid points have been selected. And one, no one point is more than 100 meters away. So the lander will hover like in a, a helicopter. And uh, it can go from one place to another place in 100 meters. Just one final question, Doctor. Uh, there could be a plan B, we are told, because of weather conditions. And 27th August is that new date in case things don't work out tomorrow. But from what you are telling me, there is a very minimal chance of using plan B. Am I correct? 6.04 p.m. tomorrow, all going well, should be the landing? Yeah, I am quite confident about this. Now, let us talk about the 27th August. If it is there, then, uh, you know, it, it has got enough propulsion and the margins in the battery and the total power system. 
it can come back. But this time it will be landing on the westward, so that still you get the 14 uh, days uh, 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 I mean sunlight. Mm -hmm. So it's not that if we don't land on 23rd, we will be losing some time. So it is on westward, 14 mm -hmm. days will be still available. Okay. And that's a plan B, you know. In space technology, we always keep a plan B. It's not that we always go by one plan only. Okay, let me leave it there. Uh, thanks very much for joining us, Doctor. We'll be tracking this all the way. It's our big story. You can cheer for Chandrayaan. Uh, go on to the India Today website. Find out how you can send your messages to ISRO scientists. Big day ahead.